Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're going to um, copy protect our program so that no one can steal it. Um, there's two alternatives how you can copy protect. Either you have the program bound uh, to a memory card, to an SMC, semantic memory card. Uh, whoop, those things. to an SMC, so not my program could only work on this memory card. If someone tries to copy it, download it from the network, he, can download it, he cannot download it to another PLC that's using a different P uh, memory card, right? Only this one. Every memory card has a code, a serial number, and only this one will work. Or in the other way, I can select a PLC, a CPU, and my program will only work on the CPU. It doesn't matter what the memory card is, but it will only work with the CPU. Every CPU also has a serial number. So let's get this started. <clears throat> yeah. Therefore, I have my little program here. I have downloaded it to the PLC, and this program does not have any kind of protection. Right? It doesn't even have any blocks. So everyone could access this program. If I now make a function, this function should be bound to the memory card. The memory card is the SMC, Sematic Memory Card. Um, here we go, it doesn't matter what's in there. So this program I can now still download through the PLC, right? And finish and it's all fine. The problem right now is um, that everyone could just copy it and run it and, and use it on their PLCs. Right, just, just well, industry theft. Right? That's a possibility. Or you download it to the wrong peer, uh, wrong memory card. Also possible. Now we want to only download and run this program on one specific memory card. Those memory cards look like this, right? The SMCs, Sematic memory cards. That's why it's called SMC, Sematic memory card. Every SMC has a code. It's written here, this SMC underscore 128, this is uh, C9, C1104. This is for the memory card I am using in this PLC here. And this is what I would have to type in, in my protection, right? So I can go here, bound to memory card, right click properties. I have protection. You can also go down here, properties, uh, if whenever the block is open, properties, protection is also possible. But I prefer the right click properties. <clears throat> protection, we've talked about the other protection types, now it's the third, the copy protection, and I have no binding, I can bind it to a serial number of a memory card. Right now, uh, I have two options. I can enter a serial number, then I would just take this serial number that I've got here, right, for this memory card. If I would want it for another memory card, I would of course take the series no serial number of the other memory card. Or I could say serial number is inserted when downloading to a device or memory card. Um, this means that whenever I download my program, it's automatically attached to this specific memory card. Right? That's the first thing I want to do here. For this, the password for copy protection has not been defined. I have to give a password in the beginning, right? Whenever I download the program now so that nothing happens, I will have to type in this password, right? Program, yeah, sure, why not? Now it's checking on the PLC. Oh, I already have that inserted, perfect. Now there would be a pop-up saying, hey, put in this password. <clears throat> now the program on the PLC in the memory card is there and I can take it out. I can shove it into another PLC, it will work. What won't work if I or if this memory card is broken or if it's stolen or something, I cannot take another memory card, insert into the PLC um, and download the same program. Wait, that still works because this was now just bound to it when I downloaded it. Sorry. <laughs> it's like this. <clears throat> um, now it's copy protected. No one can, you can still read the program from the memory card, but you cannot copy it to another memory card, right? It's bound to the memory card. Uh, on the other side, if I enter a serial number, right? I want to enter a serial number. I will take this because that's the one, or actually I have another one, um, but I have to copy and paste. No, it's this one actually. Uh, I now entered the serial number of the memory card. I hit okay, and I can download now to the PLC. No problem at all because this is the memory card that is inserted, right? So down here, you see everything is green. This is the memory card that is actually in my PLC right now. If I would, eh, 
if I were to take another, like, like, another serial number, like this, could be, right? I hit OK. I want to download. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's OK. When downloading, it will actually tell me, hey, error downloading to device. Error downloading. OK, what's the error? I go to my compilation window, and here we can see copy protection, incorrect serial number or missing memory card. Right? So I cannot download this program right now because it's the wrong memory card. Right? It has to be the correct serial number here, this one. I hit OK. Now I can download again. <clears throat> so this is binding the program to a memory card. Right now I can download again because it is the correct memory card. <clears throat> the next thing is I can also bind a program that's actually more important for me. Um, Uh, not to PLC, to a CPU. I can bind a program to a CPU, right? So I can only download the program to this specific CPU and the process here is again the same. I go here and I say download uh, number of the CPU. If I do this, it's the same. I can only, uh, it will ask me for a password when I download and I can only download uh, and I, the program will be on the PLC. Everyone that has access to the PLC can copy the program, but they cannot put it anywhere else. They can copy it, but they can't do anything with it. Um, the other thing is I can enter the serial number. The serial number, now it's similar as for the memory card, SMC. I have my PLC here, I made a picture. And on the PLC, on the side actually, you can see a serial number. In my case, it's S blank C minus D9 S blah, 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 2013. That's the serial number here. Um, this I would have to put in, of course, in the same fashion as I did with the memory card. I have to copy and paste. Here we go. That's the that's the serial number you see here. I hit OK, and now I can download this program to this PLC. Right, no problem at all because it is the correct number. If it would be the an incorrect number, let's check it out. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, it's too long. Yeah, sure, why not? Like this. Uh, I cannot download. I have tested it, but I'm pretty sure I cannot download. Yes, it says copy protection, incorrect serial number. I cannot download it. So it needs to be the correct serial number. So even if anyone would try to copy and paste the program somehow, they cannot uh, run it on their PLC because it is protected, right? It is copy protected, which is very good. Um, if you do not have access to your PLC here, you should always have somehow access to the memory card because inside the PLC you can access that. The PLC is built in somewhere usually, so you can't see the side of it. You can also go online access, uh, display, and here I have my PLC. And in the online access, in the interface online diagnostics, I can see the serial number is listed. Right. There we go. Yeah. Now my program is protected, right? Now my program is protected. No one can copy it. Uh, it's bound to the memory card and also to the CPU because one block is bound to this specific memory card. One is bound to this specific PLC. One to this, one to this. No one else can use it. If I lose this, I will have to change it here in the program. If my PLC is broken, I would also have to change it in the program. Good. Yeah. Only a quick video today. Eight minutes, that's fine. Or almost nine minutes. I will make it nine. Ten seconds left. Uh, if you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If this helps you a little bit, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.